Hello, good day everyone. Happy New Year to you all. Still on to how to solve second order linear homogeneous differential equation. I have another problem for us to solve. We are given that 2y prime prime plus 5y prime plus 3y equal to 0. Remember the very first thing you need to do is to transform this equation into an auxiliary form of the characteristics equation. To do that, you need to substitute y prime prime with r to the second power, y prime with r to the first power, which is the same thing as r, and y to be equal to r to the power of zero, which is the same thing as one. So here we have two times y prime prime, which is the same thing as r squared, two r squared, plus five r plus three times 1 is still 3 equal to 0. This is our characteristics equation or the auxiliary equation which is in the form of quadratic equation. We are going to solve for r which is the root of the quadratic equation. The nature of that root will determine the form of general solution we are going to obtain. So by factorization, the leading coefficient here is 2. We multiply it with the constant. We have 3 and this is equal to 6. We are going to think of two numbers, which when we multiply them together, we get 6. And when we add them together, we are going to get the coefficient of the middle term, which is 5. So the numbers are 3 and 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 plus 2 is 5. So 3 r and 2 r are going to be substituted with 5 r. So we have 2 r to the second power plus one of this, 2r plus 3r plus 3. This is equal to 0. We are going to factorize them virtues. The first two, we have 2r in common in between them. So we say 2r. Inside we have only r here. And here we have 1 left. Then plus. We have 3 in between these two terms in common. So we have r inside plus 1. The all of this equal to 0. Still we have r plus 1 in between the two terms, so we factor it out. r plus 1. What is left here is 2r. And what is left here is 3 plus 3. The all of this equal to 0. If you set the first factor to be equal to 0, you're going to obtain r equal to negative 1. And if you set this factor to be equal to 0, this is 2r plus 3 equal to 0, 2r equal to negative 3, and r will be equal to negative 3 over 2. So the next one is going to be r equal to negative 3 over 2. So these are real and distinct truths. When you have real and distinct truth, the general solution is in the form of y equal to a constant e to the r1x plus another constant e to the r2x. And now r1, you can see them, r1 and r2. r1 is negative 1, so this is equal to c1 e to the negative x because negative 1 times x is negative x plus c2 e to the r2 which is negative 3 over 2 x and this is our general solution for this differential equation and this is all I have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day